with aluminium side rails, measure 8 centimetres up from the ground or the base rails and make a mark on the doorpost and each hoop. This mark is where the underside of the aluminium side rail will lie. The aluminium side rail is fixed to the end hoops using a corner bracket. Place the clamp around the hoop with the corner bracket underneath the nut on the inside. Slide a bolt into the T-slot on the back of the aluminium rail. This then bolts to the corner bracket. When using a side vent, a spacer should be placed between the aluminium and the corner bracket with a flat plate located between the spacer and the aluminium. At every intermediate hoop, the aluminium should be attached to the hoop using a P-clip. Wherever two aluminium rails meet, an aluminium joiner should be placed into the T-slot and tightened. At every intermediate hoop, a P-clip is used to fix the aluminium rail to the hoop. I slide a bolt into the T-slot on the back of the aluminium and bolt to the P-clip. When a side vent is being used, a spacer should be placed between the aluminium and the P-clip. Continue adding lengths of aluminium down the length of the tunnel until you reach the opposite end. Making sure that you overhang each end by at least one inch. The aluminium rail attaches to the end hoop using a corner bracket. Place the clamp around the hoop with the corner bracket underneath the nut on the inside. Slide a bolt into the T-slot on the back of the aluminium and bolt to the corner bracket. When using a side vent, a spacer should be placed between the aluminium and the corner bracket, with a flat plate placed between the aluminium and the spacer. Cut a length of aluminium to fit between the overhanging side rail and across the front of the door post. Bolt this aluminium to the corner bracket and drill through the door post to bolt in place with a washer and nut on the inside. Repeat this process at the opposite end of the tunnel. Double aluminium grip rail is used for the side rails. Once happy with the position, tighten all nuts, bolts and clamps, but do not fix the P-clips to the hoops with a self-drill screw. Trim off any overhang at an angle making sure that there are no sharp corners. When using aluminium side vent, bolt the verticals to the flat plate on the base rail. When using an aluminium side rail, bolt the verticals to the flat plate on the base rail at both ends of the tunnel. Mark each hoop approximately 1 to 2 inches higher than the clamps.
Loosen all clamps and lift the side rail until at this new mark. At a later stage the side rails should be lowered to create a drum type finish on the cover. Premier Polytunnels supply a detailed construction guide with every polytunnel. We also provide a construction advice helpline seven days a week, along with a comprehensive collection of online construction videos. If you have any queries or questions, give the team a call or visit our website for more details.